All right, hello again, everybody. You're with Tom and Fern. I'm Tom. I'm Fern. And uh, you know, I'm I'm thinking a little. I feel a little Doobie Brothers thing here. Right. You know why? You know why? why? Because I'm feeling the China Grove here thing. <laughs> China. Because our special guest, China Smith. Welcome. Hey, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me out here. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, some people probably remember you from the Riverview Rams. Uh, played a little fullback in the wishbone, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, the good old days. The good old days. But they called that the Ramble, the Rambone back then. Yeah, yeah. The Spray yeah. Bone, right. whatever the spray they bone, called it. The wishbone, you know. <laughs> right. And, we, and at the time, you'd be in the fullback position, you, you played fullback because you got the ball a lot of times. So yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it worked that good. All right, so Fern's going to help uh, mm -hmm. tell folks what you're up to these days. So, Fern. China, the reason I'm wearing these gloves is not because I'm an idiot, it's because we have <laughs> but a. you are. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you are. But. <laughs> Uh, we have a boxing event coming that you're sort of uh, you're sort of heading it uh, Saturday night at Robots Arena. It's non Golden Gloves and Golden Gloves boxing. Why don't you just tell our, our listeners out there and our watchers a little <clears throat> bit about it? Well, you know it, the Golden Gloves. Uh, it's Golden Gloves qualifier, and uh, we have the opportunity to bring it here in Sarasota. Uh, we have all the local gyms for the first time combining to come together to show off their talents. They they will be competing against other fighters from others. Um, from other gyms throughout the state of Florida. And just to have these opportunities for some of these kids that have never fought, they're going to be on, on a big stage fighting at Robarts. It's a community event. You want to come out, support your community, so it's, it's going down. I'm very excited about it. Now, we've had boxing here before, but it's been sporadically. I've covered you fighting. I've covered other guys. Uh, boxing really doesn't come to Sarasota all that often, does it? No, um, and that's what we're trying to change. You know, I'm, uh, like I said, I took out a leap of faith right now, mm -hmm. and I'm um, looking to make make this thing happen by starting at home, by bringing these uh, our local gym together and work together uh, mm -hmm. as a team, and um, try to try to. And we're going to do smaller shows more mm -hmm. more on a more regular basis. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So tell us a little bit about. So what are you up to these days? You're arranging this kind of thing, but are you in the gym? Are you training people? Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? Yes, I'm. I'm, I'm training, promoting, uh, coaching. A little bit of everything. Um, I have two gyms. I, you know, I, when I say nine for one all day, every day I am nine for one. Mm -hmm. I have the gym in Braden, um, affiliated with the Manatee Police Athletic League, mm -hmm. and I just uh, have the one in Sarasota called Chinatown Nine for One. <laughs> and um, you know, we have boxing, we have MMA, we have fitness, uh, we have football training. We have you know, we have everything we train. So now, a lot of people, uh, football fans in the area, Saturday night, people remember Mike Ford ran the ball for the Riverview Rams. Uh, went to USF. Now he'll be fighting uh, on Saturday night, his second amateur fight. Uh, what do you see out of Mike Ford? Mike Ford is a very, very f phenomenal athlete, very strong, mm. very proud. Mm. He's a force to be reckoned with. Mm. And <clears throat> I'm proud to say that I'm giving him an opportunity, something that he loved. I, I had no idea that he, his passion was boxing. Mm. And um, so you, you definitely want to come out there and see him. He's very, he's very strong and he's probably going to knock somebody out. So. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be you try on <laughs> Yeah, what do you think about putting him, putting Fern in for like a, maybe a 30 second uh, demonstration? You and, you and Fern. No, Fern, we have, uh, we have, we have a great path. We, we go way back and uh, we'll just leave it like <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do people get tickets for this uh, event? We have tickets. You can go on the website, www.csfightnight.com, or you can call 941-587-1671. Is that, yourself? is that your cell phone? That's my mm -hmm. cell. We do deliver. <laughs> oh, China Smith, the people's <laughs> champ. I'm 24-7 on this to make this happen for my community, 9 for 1. Now, can people go up to Robarts, to the ticket office, and actually buy, buy the tickets there also? Or is it just the, the number in the website? Just the number in the website. <clears throat> but on, uh, obviously, there to fight. You right. get tickets on there to fight. Mm. All right. So when, when's the last time you... Um Strapped on the gloves, or uh, you actually you don't stick the, you don't you strap, strap those them on. on. <laughs> you, actually, you actually had real gloves. You velcro them on. Yeah. When was the last time you uh, you were fighting uh, professionally? Um, my last fight was April hmm. last year. You know, I had a fight in April. Brought it here to Sarasota, and right now I still get calls. People call me, you know, from different fighters, different um, wanting me on a promotion, and. Right now, I put that off to the side. For, remember, for right now, I want to you know take on a promotion, build this, build my community up as fighters, and uh, then after I get done with that, I'll, I'll get it established. Then I, I may look back into the ring. I, I got to ask you this because your dad might be watching. Your dad, China Smith Sr., yeah. great running back for the Cardinal Mooney team, 1972. You were a fullback. Going to put you on the spot. Who was the better running back, you or your dad? <laughs> Um, <laughs> by record of the state, he has something that I don't have. He had a state championship title. Right. 
But as far as an athlete who's the best, well, he had one state championship. I have five belts. So right. You do the math. <laughs> <laughs> Did you so hear that, me, senior? Yes. Yeah, so let me ask you this. So uh, the best lick you ever delivered in the ring and the worst lick you took, if you remember. <clears throat> well, one of the worst uh, licks I took, uh, I remember um, we was in Tampa at the Hyatt, mm -hmm. and this guy, you know, he was a little older, but he was a, little, a lot slower. Mm -hmm. But the people at the time told me he can hit, mm -hmm. and then I was, and I was young, so I was knocking at everybody first, mm -hmm. second round, and I went out there kind of playing around a little bit, and the next thing you know, I get clipped, and I fall head first, <laughs> and I bounce. When you fall head first in the box, you're in trouble. Right. <laughs> and and I just so happened to get up at um, the count of eight, then the movie got up the count of eight, and the bell rung. And uh, when, the, when the bell came, the second round, they had to carry him out on a stretcher because I, I knocked them out completely. But going back into the dressing room, after people was coming in back and telling me, hey, what, you know what, the fight, I would lead it over to my dad, 20 minutes, like, what happened? I, I had no idea what happened. I was, I, was, I was gone. A lot of people don't know that when you do catch a punch, whether it's, it's flush on the chin or in the nose, your head rattles on the inside of uh, your, your brain rattles inside your head. For a couple of seconds, even longer, you're, you're out on your feet, right? Yeah, you don't know where you're at. Absolutely. And, and, and that's why we tell the fighters you have to train so hard and compose because when I got hit, the guy clipped me very hard. But mm -hmm. just my instincts and the things that I worked on before, you know, it, it all came together. So, mm -hmm. But I was able to complete that fight. And like I said, I knocked him out in the mm -hmm. second round. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that your best luck you delivered? Mm -hmm. One of them. I have, yeah. I, I have a list goes on. We don't have that much time to get into it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. Well, yeah, well, it, it was just because he had me down, and then I was able to get up, and then um, I was able to capitalize on That's that. That's how it happens in boxing yeah. sometimes, turn the tables. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, your favorite fighter ever, other than yourself? or you? One of my favorite of, of, of all time great would be Muhammad Ali. Mm -hmm. Not just because he was the greatest, I believe, in the ring, but what he stood for outside mm -hmm. of the ring. Because he, you know, he was the people's champ. He was really uh, the most, uh, most recognized name mm -hmm. before all the social media internet came out. Everybody knew Muhammad Ali. So. I just wish Muhammad had, had, had retired maybe four or five years earlier. Uh, then maybe he wouldn't be having the, uh, the Parkinson's condition or what he has right yeah. now. Yeah, you know, and, uh, and obviously he had the Parkinson's disease, yeah, so, you know, it, but it is, it's hard, it's hard watching it. All right, so we're wrapping down here. Let's give one last plug for Saturday night's big Fight event. Fight night. Fight night. Mm -hmm. Tell us one more time where to get the tickets. Fight night, you don't want to miss out. You want to come and check mm -hmm. it out. It's going to be exciting. All the 941 gyms are coming together for the first time. 941 587 one six seven one. That's China Smith, the People's Champ, at twenty four seven. Call me, get the tickets. Not too late. But now, what, what do you think about getting me and Try on on like an undercard? <laughs> you know, you were the People's Champion. We could be like uh... <laughs> we could have a type off. Like <laughs> <laughs> if we get hundred words. I mean, who gets? Who beats the deadline? Yeah. Winner right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we 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 can make something happen. Yeah. All right. uh, so, all right, you, you want to keep your reputation intact. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So, listen, thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure to meet you finally thanks after all these thanks, years. Thanks, Shana. Thanks all right, for having me. Appreciate it. All right, we'll see you again on WTNF. Thank you, man. Right, thank you. All right. Thanks, guys.